Now to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin on the defensive over the Pentagon's failure to inform the White House for days that he had been hospitalized. Our chief global affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is tracking this from Amman, Jordan. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Lindsay. We've been crisscrossing the Middle East all week, a key focus of the U.S. military as fears of a widening war rise. But during this time of crisis, unbeknownst to even the president until just days ago, the secretary of defense was in the intensive care unit and remains hospitalized. This morning, new details about the secret hospitalization of Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin as lawmakers demand to know why it took so long to notify Congress and the White House. ABC News learning this morning that Austin first entered Walter Reed National Medical Center on December 22nd while on leave for what the Pentagon is calling elective surgery. He was discharged the following day. But on the evening of January 1st, the Pentagon says he began to experience severe pain and was sent back to Walter Reed and admitted to the intensive care unit. The Pentagon saying he was placed in the hospital's intensive care unit to ensure immediate access due to his medical needs, but then remained in that location in part due to hospital space considerations and privacy. It was not until Thursday, Three days later that Austin or anyone at the Pentagon disclosed to the White House that he'd been hospitalized. Secretary Austin releasing this statement from his hospital bed. I recognize I could have done a better job ensuring the public was appropriately informed. I commit to doing better. But this is important to say. This was my medical procedure and I take full responsibility for my decisions about disclosure. A U.S. official telling ABC News that President Biden was exasperated after learning about Austin's lack of transparency. But the White House saying Biden spoke to Austin on Saturday, wishing him a speedy recovery in what an official describes as a warm conversation. The Department of Defense saying Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks picked up duties on Secretary Austin's behalf from her vacation spot in Puerto Rico until Friday night when the Pentagon says Austin resumed his duties from the hospital, where he is said to be recovering well and in good spirits. But even now, seven days after his urgent arrival at the ICU, Austin will not reveal why he was taken there in the first place. Robin? We'll wait and see. All right, Martha, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.